Brad, but you re you're right though, Bart, you really had to have to soak it up while we have it. And that's the beauty of Colorado, right? Is we can get these pretty big temperature swings due to the fact that we live in a subarid climate, which means our air mass, or, you know, we're typically drier here. So when you have the drier air in place, your temperatures can rise and fall uh, very quickly. And so the rise in temperatures we're feeling this week and it feels very nice and comfortable. So you have to really reap the benefits when you have sunshine and 50 to 60 degrees because you know, it's not going to last very long and it won't. It will return on Friday, but it's beautiful out there right now. Uh, warmer conditions will stay in the forecast as we travel through Wednesday. So it's going to be nice Wednesday and even part of the day Thursday. It's just going to be a little bit breezier on Thursday and then we're going to get ready for this next system that's going to move across the state by Friday. So as we fast forward to some of the forecast models and kind of show you what we're looking at so far, looks like the snow is going to fire up pretty early in the morning across parts of Fort Collins back into the foothills west of Denver. Uh, that front will be coming across the state at the same time. And it really looks like we'll start to pick up on the first few flurries, likely mid morning across portions of Teller County and then into the afternoon for parts of El Paso County, uh, where we'll get anywhere between that one to three inches of snow possible. But it looks like Denver and parts of Colorado Springs, excuse me, Denver and parts of Castle Rock will receive closer to that two to four or two to five inch range, which could cause some minor travel impacts across the region. But it does look like it's going to be a region wide event for us right now. If you Future cast snowfall here shows that we'll have uh, a bit of a light round of accumulations Friday afternoon, most of which will accumulate on grassy surfaces initially because our ground temperatures will still be cooling off. So we do suspect it'll really just yield wet roads at first. But then after sunset, we'll start to pick up on a little bit more snow and that could lead to a coating on some of our secondary surfaces, bridges, overpasses, things to that degree. So we do expect that snow chances uh, and snowfall overall will uh, yield covered roads as we move through the evening time frame. Uh, anywhere between that two to five inch range across Castle Rock will be possible right now. Uh, these are projected estimates. We'll be tweaking these numbers as we get a little bit closer to the event, but it does look like it'll give us a pretty snowy and chilly start to the weekend and clearing out by Saturday afternoon. Until then, enjoy these 60s in the forecast. That's going to take place tomorrow. Upper 60s in Pueblo and middle 50s in Westcliff and 60s across Port portions of the eastern plains. Uh, notice your Colorado Springs seven day forecast here showing where temperatures will uh, remain steady in the 50s and 60s across the region. Uh, of course, overnight lows into the 20s and 30s as well. Uh, we do look for that chance for snow on Friday, particularly uh, cloud cover Friday morning, snow increasing in Colorado Springs through Friday afternoon. Uh, parts of Pueblo uh, are going to be again in the 50s and 60s for the next several days dropping into the 40s by Friday and then we'll be clearing out for the weekend. So it doesn't look like this system's going to hang around too long over the weekend, but it will give us a bit of a chillier start to our weekend with highs only in the 20s for Monument on Saturday. Around parts of Canyon City, temperatures will be in the 60s for tomorrow and for Thursday, back down in the 40s on Friday, 30s for Saturday, and of course down into the 30s for Friday for Woodland Park with that general two to four inches of snow around Woodland Park beginning Friday morning through Friday afternoon. Back to you guys. All right, Mary, thank you. Quick look at traffic right now. Here's the camera at I-25 and South Circle, south of downtown Colorado Springs. I-25 is not where the problems lie. Uh, in fact, if this camera could only swivel east or west, you'd see a lot of backups there on South Circle Drive. That's where the construction, a two-year-long construction project,